what's up, what's up, what's up with it? Assalamu alaikum, peace out. Shalom. Hotel. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your boy, Ask the Comment, bring it in. Straight off the mouth. Do me a favor, you already know what I'm about to ask you. Do. Just go ahead and do it, please. Please. It's approximately Jay Z right now. It's 4 44 early in the AM. I am bringing you that heat. Boy MC8 in the background. If you like to uh, the, the beats, I'm gonna leave links in the description box. Keep on it all day. You know, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, take nobody else. This ain't my shit. You already know, man. I'm old school with you. Yeah. Hey, but check this out right here. I got a store for you all. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 movie, y'all remember that movie, White Boy Rick? Mm. After three decades, three decades, three times ten, White Boy Rick, worst junior to go free. White Boy Rick, gonna go free. Uh, the notorious teenager FBI informant known as White Boy Rick spent three decades in jail cells while serving a life sentence on a drug conviction he was handed at the age of 17 years old. Uh, the world went up, uh, went on without him. You know what I'm saying? Well, because they know about dude until the movie came out. I, I know I didn't. I can be the first. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad, man. I'm just confessing the truth. A son was born, six grandchildren came, a modern technology took hold of his life, uh, of his life, uh, Monday daily routine. You know what I'm saying? Paroled in Michigan in 2017, he was sent to Florida to serve time for a 2000, 2006 conviction stemming from his role in the Carthage Frank. Damn, he did that too. The crimes happened with the when he was incarcerated in Florida as part of a federal witness protection program. On July the 20th, he set to leave Florida halfway house to return to Michigan. Two days after his 51st birthday, he would walk out a free man. Sadly, the wheels of justice can often move slowly. It took 32 years, but light at the end of the tunnel is now white, hot spotlight that has finally sprung him from his chains, says Scott Burton, an author of historian and an investigative uh, reporter uh, who has uh, long reported on his case and I consider him a friend. Wow, I guess he spent a lot of time with him. Said he couldn't be happy for him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, white boy Rick Career as a drug running FBI informant was the focus of 2018 Hollywood movie, White Boy Rick. Star megastar Matthew McConaughey a, a, a year earlier a documentary titled White Boy by Sean Rich also told his story too. So like I said, White Boy Rick gonna get on out. White Boy Rick, check out the movie. And man, you know, it just shows, man, and them pigs, they call them pigs, man. And if you've been in cases, if you've been in with them, you know what I'm saying, you probably call the same thing too. But like I said, the brotherhood of the police is strong with the motherfucker, man. You can't break that bond, baby. You can't break that bond. And man, it's just like, God damn, man. It make you really want to think it's worth doing any type of wrongdoing outside. But do me a favor, like this video, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you notified. Peace and bala happiness.